Hello, and welcome back to Stan's Grambling Tips. I'm Stan, and I've been a high roller dealer in casinos for many years. Guess what? We're going to show you today how to play roulette, one of my favorite games. So, what is the object of roulette? The object of roulette is to get lucky. That's it. Is there strategy to this? Absolutely. I'm going to show you how to play, and then I'm going to show you how to win. So, first of all, let's take a look at the board here, and I'll tell you about the different bets that you can make and what they can pay. So, there are two typical zones when you play roulette. You've got the inside, which is basically all the numbers here, and then you've got the outside, which is everything else. So, on the inside, let's say you make a bet, and you put your chip on, say, number 11. If number 11 comes up, you will get paid 35 to 1. That's a nice payday. But let's say you wanted to bet on two numbers. You kind of put between the two there. If either one of those two numbers come up, you will win 17 to 1. It's half because, well, you're betting twice as many numbers with the same amount of money. Kind of the same thing. If you were to put your chip right in the middle between these four numbers, now you've got four. If either one of those comes up, you will get paid 8 to 1. Still pretty good. If you want to be creative, you can also place your bet at the side, and you will win on any one of these three numbers. And then what you can also do is bet on all six numbers here, and I think that one pays six to one. So basically all these columns here. On the outside, we've got these zones here. What do they say? They say two, two, one. Make sure you know that because it pays two to one. If you were to put a chip here, if your number was any one of these, excluding the zero, we'll get to that a little later, you will win two to one. And the same with this one and this one. You can't put your chip between the two like you could here. You have to put it on a specific spot. This section here, kind of the same thing. It's two to one because there are 36 numbers on the board. First through 12, two to one. Second 12, two to one. Third 12, basically this zone here, two to one. Then you've got these numbers over here. These, all these numbers here, all of them pay even money, and they're very simple. Guess what? When 18 comes up, basically the first half of the numbers, you'll win. One to one. Even money bet. Red, half the numbers are red. If red comes up, you win. Black, same story. Odd, exact opposite of even. 1936, exact opposite of these. So basically, this half is a mirror image of this half. So the last thing you need to know to play is that your typical casino chips, like this $5 chip here, that you get from like the blackjack table or the cashier, is basically null and void at roulette tables. What you need to do is give that chip to me, the dealer, and I will give you roulette chips in whatever value you want. So I could give you one chip in a value of $5, or I could give you, you know, ten ch five chips in the value of a dollar. Or I could give you, you know, ten chips in the value of 50 cents. But it all depends on what you want and what the limits are. So basically with all that, I'm now going to tell you how to win. So the first thing that you need to do when you come to a roulette table is you got to look at the zeros. So basically this section here. Some casinos have one zero, some casinos have a double zero. If there's only one zero, that means that the house edge is half that of casinos that have a zero and a double zero. You don't want that. You want as little numbers as possible to be on the board because you get paid the same no matter how many numbers there are. Casinos that have a zero and a double zero have 38 spots where the ball can land on the roulette wheel because you have one through 36 and then zero and double zero. With one zero, you take one out, you get 37. That makes your odds marginally better. The second tip that I can give you is that there are certain patterns that I've seen through my years of dealing high roller roulette where a certain number, one in particular, comes up more often than others. Now it may be a few spins before it comes up again, but in the long run you're going to make money on this one particular number. Do you know what number it is? I'm going to show you. Don't tell anyone about this. I'm serious because this is high roller stuff we're talking about here. What you do? Take your chip and bet on number 26. That is the one that comes up the most often. And to prove this to you, I'm going to do a scenario now where there are five players at the game and they're all going to bet differently and we're going to see who wins the most money after a few spins. 
So let's say this white guy here bets on, I don't know, between one and two. And you got this red dude here, he's trying to bet on red, right? Got the green guy, the green guy's gonna try two to one. What else we got? We got this blue dude. Blue's gonna go, I don't know, we'll do like a corner bet here. When all your bets have been placed, now the fun begins. The dealer will spin the wheel, and then he'll drop the ball. As the ball drops, he'll wave his hand and say, no more bets, you can't make any more moves. And then you sit and you wait until it stops on a number. That first number is seven. So in this result, seven would be here. So this guy would lose, this guy would lose. Unfortunately, this guy would lose because it's not 26. But we got a couple winners here. We've got uh, the guy who bet red and the guy who bet the two to one. So he's gonna win two to one, okay? He's gonna get two behind. And then this guy's gonna win at, uh, at one to one. So now we're gonna spin again. Once again, I'll say no more bets. As soon as the ball is rolling and I'm happy. And then we wait and see. This is the most exciting part. Oh, see, this number here is between the 28 and the 12. So in this case, you probably get a lot of arguments between you know, who should win or whatever. So what the dealer normally does is when it's between two numbers, they say invalid, no spin, no good, because it's almost bang straight in the middle there. So everybody, even if they lost, right, they don't lose. They just stay. You can't change your bets. I already waved my hand. It was a no spin, so I get to try again. So here we go. Again, no more bets. Can't make any more bets. It's so exciting. So this time, the majority of the ball is in 26. So when at least a good chunk of the ball is in that area, I can call it, I can mark it, and we're good to go. So. When the ball lands on your number, you get paid 35 to 1. Guess what? I don't even have enough yellow chips. So, I'm just going to pay them in casino chips, and they can just use those at other parts. So, that's 35 bucks, and this guy will win. Let's try again, shall we? No go. Twenty six. Twenty six. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So we're going to do it again just to prove my point that twenty six comes up more often than any other number on the wheel. No more bets. <gasps> You're gonna make money. Look how many times 26 has come up in the number of spins that we've done. Do the math. Do it. You'll find out that you've made more money with this one number in the long run than you have with any other number. So, what is the last bit of information that I can give to you? It's basically just to bet 26. In the long run, it's going to come up more often than any other number. And I don't care how much you bet, the more risk you take, the better the reward. Five bucks. $170, $175, right? 25 bucks. What is that? $575, something like that. Right? We can go to the higher roller rooms where I deal, and you can put down thousand dollar chips, these big pink guys here, you'll get 35 grand. Each time it comes up, you can get yourself a nice car. That's good money. That's all I've got for this time on Stan's Grambling Tips. Have fun up there, win some money. You will never lose with this strategy in the long run. And I'll see you back next time for more Stan's Grambling Tips. Have fun up there.